So tax season is now underway. The IRS is accepting and processing tax returns. Oh, the joy. For the next eight weeks, our Start Your Day tax tips are going to help set you up for success. We're going to cover everything from e-filing to cryptocurrency to sports betting to writing off those daily expenses. April 18th is the deadline this year to file, but IRS, uh, they're warning us, expect delays. So the earlier you file your taxes, you know the drill, the better off you'll be. Charles Kelly, also known as CJ the Smart Guy, joins us from Houston to kick off our tax series. He's a certified public accountant with a lot of good tips and information. So good morning to you. We, um, well, we need you during these times. <laughs> right. um, so many of us are scrambling to say, what can we write off? Uh, I don't want to get audited. Uh, all of that. So, so what do we need to do right now to plan and prepare for that April 18th filing deadline? Well, yes, the the most beneficial thing to do right now would be to create an irs.gov account on this account is going to explain to you how much money you've received from the uh, stimulus payments as well as from maybe the child advance credits um, the irs they are somewhat behind so this is a way to be proactive in helping yourself out so that the process is quickly as possible um, because trying to call them may not be the most beneficial um, and time effective process to make sure you're ready to go. Oh, you'll definitely never get through. Trust me, I've tried it before. But <laughs> if you're not organized, you don't have a file cabinet with everything in there, please tell us what documents or paperwork should we start gathering and organizing to get ready, ready to file? Yeah, for sure. So typically your driver's license with an updated address. You also want to make sure you have all your W-2s and your 1099s, all your tax documents prepared. Um, the deadline for that is actually January 31st, which is today. So most of you will receive all your documents by the end of next week. Um, and just make sure you keep it all in one little area so that when you go to your tax preparer, um, you can present it all at one time versus piecemealing it. That can take a little bit more time. So when it comes to actually filling out the tax form, tell us about the questions on it and what we need to pay close attention to, because a lot of people, they want to do it themselves, but they don't want to make mistakes. Yeah, so one of the biggest mistakes that came last year was calculating how much they got from the stimulus checks. Um, some people would forget, some people just guess, and that actually is what took the most time from last year in terms of a delay from getting your refund or having additional tax documents being sent to your house. And so being organized, creating that irs.gov account, that should solve that, that type of problem. Um, on the cryptocurrency side, which is my specialty, that's, that's my passion, um, on the front page of the 2021 tax return, it basically asks if you have any taxable events in the virtual currency or cryptocurrency space. And so the IRS, they're looking at additional, um, you know, tax enforcement when it comes to cryptocurrency. And so if you have been involved with cryptocurrency, you might want to just check that box as yes to take fraud and evasion off the table. Well, all right. I hate leaving money on the table or not getting back the large return. Like I know personally I should, even though the IRS doesn't agree all the time. So what are some <laughs> things that people always leave on the table, things they could write off, but don't know or forget they can write off? Yeah, for sure. So um, one of the things that people miss a lot of the times is if you missed your, um, your job this year uh, due to COVID or something like that, you might want to let your taxpayer know that, hey, I missed my job because I had to take care of my kids, as well as if you have daycare, that's something else that you might want to um, write off. Um, as well as if you have like a business, you might want to make sure you check all your business expenses as well, um, possibly the miles that you drove, make sure you document all of that, um, as well as some of your business meals. This year, um, due to COVID, they increased the, the deductions for meals from 50% write off to 100%, as long as it's from a restaurant, um, not necessarily just from a grocery store. Charles, you forgot the biggest one that you hit me to, that if someone has a small business, how they can write their kids off uh, a portion of their, you know, proceeds or things that they've put into that business, they can write it off. Remind us about that one. Yeah, for sure. So if you are a small business and you have your kids working as employees, um, you can actually pay your children um, in order to, A, build up their income, um, B, you can also do that so that you don't have to pay as much as taxes. And this is a, a completely legal type of 
um, way to do it. Just make sure you're you're paying them in, in accordance to what the work that they are doing, um, because the IRS, they do look at that. However, if they are actively involved in the business, feel free to consider them as an employee, as a 1099 contract worker. And that's an easy way to have a, a quick write off, as well as to build possibly your child, your child's credit history. Okay. That's so good. what he was doing there, just so we you know, already know, Sharon. you know, the TikTok business, <laughs> the TikTok business that he has the kids working in, as long as they're getting the correct wages is what you're saying. Real quick, because we only got about a minute. Um, two other things that have come up, and I've been talking to people about, uh, if your kids have, say, learning challenges and you need a tutor, um, I, I read somewhere where that may be um, written off a portion of it, and also the home office deduction, which I always hear people warn, don't do that home office deduction, that's a red flag. Can you quickly go over those? Yeah, so I think the home, the home deduction for small businesses, I think the reason it's a red flag to a lot of people is because they're not doing it correctly. Um, typically what you want to do is either take the standard deduction, which they've made easier over the last uh, couple years, um, or you want to make sure that you are proportion, like you are correctly having the ratio of business to the entire house. Mm. If you're trying to write the entire house off as a home office deduction, that's an easy way to get um, audited and get in trouble. Um, but if, say, if your house is, you know, one tenth of your house, um, your offices, yeah. you can write off one tenth of the utilities in your house and things of that nature, as long as for business purposes. But um, don't overstate your expenses and don't get greedy because <laughs> they do watch for those things. Mm -hmm. Good advice. All right. And of course, okay. you can visit irs.gov. kids. <laughs> we said wage, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. my kids Pay work hard. Kids they work hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can get more information there you heard about what he filing said. your taxes. Look, I'll do it legally. <laughs> and of course, follow CJ the Smart Guy on all social media platforms. Thanks for those tips and advice. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. No problem. Thanks for having me. Brought to you by Intuit TurboTax Live. You do your thing, we've got your taxes.